So you've started your business, you're growing it and you constantly need letterheads. You need letterheads for employee offer letters, for service agreements, for proposals, for official documents. You need a letterhead to formalize anything. Problem is, most of the work nowadays is digital. So how do you record official documents on letterheads, share them? Well, you print it and you scan it, right? Right? Well, the thing is, I hate my printer and scanner. I'm never able to get it to work when I actually need it. And the worst part is I am just lazy. I keep running out of printed letterheads and I have no intention of going to the printer and getting some more done. So how have I run my businesses? Maintaining my laziness and trying to make sure that I can record official documents on company letterheads. Well, what I do know is everyone I work with, almost everyone has access to Google Docs. And this gave me an idea. Is it possible to have my letterhead background on a Google Doc itself? So this is when I decided to create a letterhead template. So let me show you the exact steps which I took to make sure that I don't have to print a single letterhead document at the same time give a very professional look to most of my company documents. First things first, we need to be able to create a particular letterhead design and the software of choice of course is Canva. Absolutely love the software. Now in the software you have various letterhead templates. So let me just quickly search a letterhead template which I like. I think this looks nice. Next, I click on resize and I make sure that the width and the height is that of A4 because I use A4 paper almost every day. Or anyone who wants to print this document can print it on an A4 paper with ease. So in this case, it's 21 by 29.7, which is 21 by 30 centimeters of crux. That's the standard A4 size. What I'll do here is I'll make sure that I have my logo. So on Canva, I already have my brand and my logo uploaded. So let me just open that. This is my brand. Let me just change this color and change it to my standard one work color palette. Okay. Let me just delete this content over here and I'll put the contact details. So now I have a simple letter design. Guys, I'm not a graphic designer. Please, if you can spend a lot more time on this, I am happy with this. I think this already looks pretty professional and I'm lazy. So. <laughs> Let's move on. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename it to one work letterhead. Next, I'll click on share and I'll download a PNG version of this particular file. Now, what I'll do is I'll open docs.google.com. Next, I click on new blank document. I'll click on file. I'll click on page setup and I'll make sure that A4 is selected. So in this case, it is A4 and it's portrait and click on OK. Now I'll just rename this document to one work letterhead. Okay. Next I'll click on insert and then I'll click on watermark. Over here I'll just upload the image which I just downloaded from Canva. So let me do that quickly. Okay, looks good. I'll open it. Takes a couple of seconds and it's done. Next, what I got to do is I'll just resize the screen so that I can see the whole screen. I don't want to keep it faded and I'll just adjust the size. 150 is too much, around 135. I think that's proper. I think this looks good and I click on done. I'll put it to 100%. So now, as I'm working on the document, this particular letterhead is now created. So let me just type something. This is a test. And I click on file. I click on download as a PDF. And let me just open this PDF. As you can see, a clean PDF with the letterhead design which I just created is downloaded. Isn't that beautiful? Now, if you have the Google Workspace account, I have another feature to show you. So if I open docs.google.com again, I want this letterhead to be accessible with all employees of my company or you know, with the employees which I choose. So to do that, I open Google Docs, I click on the template gallery here, and then I select, generally it comes to general, these are some standard templates which you know, if you open even from your personal account, it comes up. But if you have a workspace account, we have a workspace account with the name OneWork, I can then click on submit template, 
I click on select a document and I can select the letterhead. Next, I can select this as a category. I'll tell that, hey, this is for letters and I click on submit. The moment that is done, this letterhead is now available to anyone and everyone in this one work organization, Google Workspace account. So this is how I make sure that I don't have to print a single letterhead document at the same time. Every document which I put out, every document which I send, the proposal, whatever it is, still looks professional. So this is how you can be lazy with letterheads. Oh, before you go, I have another thing to show you. Now, say for example, you actually wanna sign this particular document before sending. Now, normally speaking, you will print it out and you will you know, do all that surface. Again, I'm <laughs> extremely lazy. So what I do is I open this in preview. I click on tools, I click on annotate, I click on signature and my signature is available right here. So I can just place it and it's now a signed document. Now you can do this using various different tools. For instance, you can do this using Zoho sign or Adobe even on Windows. If you want to know how to do it on Windows, let me know in the comment section below and I'll give you a demo of how to sign PDF documents on a Windows machine. So this is what I showed you is on a Mac. It comes with preview and inbuilt software. So screw the printer and scanner, which always breaks down and never works for me. This is how you can create a letterhead on Google Docs. And if you want to know some more Google Doc tips, please check them out here. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.